welcome to Unisic Tutorials. So today we'll be talking about how you can register on Microsoft Teams as a student. So this tutorial is strictly instructed for students. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the link that's displaying on the screen right now. Then it takes you to this page. So once you're done clicking on the link, it brings you to this page, which requires that you put in your school email address. So right now I'm going to type in demo at stu.unz.edu.ng. Put in the email address that you've been provided with. Then I'll click on get started. This will load me to the verification page which says verify your identity. Now, in this page you could choose to get a text message as a verification or you can get a call, which is an automated call that will call a code for you. So in this case, I want to go with text message. So I'll click on this, which I'm going to choose the area code that is pointed to Nigeria, which is the location which I'm at. So I'll click on Nigeria, which is called 234, and impute the phone number which I, I want the message to be sent. And afterwards, I'll click on text me. After clicking on text me, you have this page that says verify your identity still which has a code that has been sent to your mobile phone. So you impute the code and click on sign up. This will load another page that says, are you a student or a teacher? So because this tutorial is structured for students, I'm going to click a student. But if you're a teacher watching this, or if you start watching this tutorial, please, there's another tutorial for you. You can click on the tip icon that is displaying on the top right of the screen right now to so go to the video that is meant for teachers. So I'll click I'm a student. This will load another page that says create your account. So in this page you are expected to impute your details. So now what I'm gonna do is put in my first name then my last name which is the surname. Now in creation of password, you need to create with something strong. It has requirements, so I'm going to deliberately make an error so that you will see the requirements for this. So I'll type something that is below the security standard required in order to get an error. You see, it says use 8 to 256 characters, including uppercase and lowercase numbers and any other symbols. So you could look at the screen and see which way you can structure the password to be stronger. So the only way to avert this is if I make the password stronger, which I am going to do now. So I'll make sure I combine caps lock, that's a capital letter, and number, which is as easy as that. So I'll do the same thing here. Which is type the same password you just did above. Then, right now, they have sent an email, which Microsoft has sent an email to the email that you've registered with, which is demo at stu.unisig.edu.ng in this case. So I'll have to proceed, I'll have to proceed to the email in order for me to check and get the verification code. So right now, I'm logged into the email address for me to get the details provided. So I'm going to open my email by clicking on the email. So here I have the code which is 725752. So I'll copy the code and head back to my registration portal where I am requested to put in the verification code. So I've put in the verification code and please note, if you did not get the verification based on network error or interruption during registration, you could easily click on resend sign up code. This will generate another code and send back to your email. So I think this button is limited. So you have to be sure to make use of the one that has been sent to you. I think there's a limit amount on how they're going to stand or how, much, how many resending of a link they're going to do for a day. So use it wisely. 
So this is already automatically set to Nigerian region because of the location detecting. Then I'll click on start. So this will take me to the next page where where I'm gonna have an intro saying welcome John. Let's uh, of Office 365 help you get your classroom done. So I'm gonna click on this, which slides into the features of Microsoft Team or Microsoft 365 in general. So I'll slide through and I'll say, okay, by clicking on this, it says good morning, John. That means we have successfully logged into Microsoft Teams. So the next thing we are gonna do right now is if I click on Microsoft Teams. This is where I can see the classes I'm structured to have or the classes I've been registered for. But once you're done with this and you do not see anything on it, do not be alarmed. Just know that you've done your part. So you wait for the courses to display and you will see the course which you're going to join. So now let's allow it to load. Remember, based on your network speed, this loading or this screen display might be different. So um, now list, this is charts, this is teams. Here you're going to see the display of the classes you are supposed to attend or classes or lectures that you're supposed to have. Whereas in this space, assignments, this is where you will see the assignments you've been given or assigned by a uh, teacher. So calendar, this shows automatically based on the lecture that has not fixed you will see uh, the lectures, timetable, and everything lined up here. What you have. Thank you for watching. This is Microsoft Teams. Have a good day.